This is a quick video demonstration of our DVR 16 channel ultimate series and I'm going to be showing you what it comes inside the box and how the DVR look like. Inside the box you will find uh, the accessory box and within the accessory box you will find uh, instructional videos and the manual and software and tools and resources for the DVR. You will find an HDMI cable. You will find an audio plug. Um, this is a quick video demonstration of our 16 channel DVR Ultimate Series, and I'm going to be showing you what it comes inside the box and how the DVR looks like. Inside the box uh, on the DVR, you will find a CD with instructional videos of how to set up your DVR and some of the features, and a DVR manual software and tools. You will find a HDMI cable for you to plug it into your TV. You will find an audio pigtail for uh, this particular DVR it supports 16 audio inputs so or 16 microphones so you can expand this uh, all the way to 16. There's four built in on the board right now. An Ethernet cable for you to put it on your router. You will see um, on this particular DVR you should have about eight of these SATA cables if you order the unit with no hard drive and no burner. It's going to have about eight because there's eight ports inside this, this unit. You will find the power cable, a remote control, an optical mouse for you to access the OSD of the DVR. If you order the DVR with no DVD burner, you will find brackets like this so you can mount the uh, burner inside the unit and some of the screws as well. Uh, you will find this uh, bracket as well if you wanted to mount it on the rack mount. All of these two U units or the uh, elite units and the ultimate units, hybrids, federal DVRs, they are all rack mountable, so you will find a bracket like this, so you can put it on a rack mount. Okay, so um, as you see, as I said in previous videos, all of our 2U units are going to come with this standard faceplate. You will see here on the top row, you will see uh, the keypad for you to access the OSD and navigate through other menus, as well as this arrows and uh, some of the function buttons right here. Indicator lights the jog for you to change the layout view of the cameras on your monitor, power button, and two front USBs for you to put a flash drive or for you to put your mouse if you want to. Here in this uh, part of the case you will see this is a compartment where the uh, DVD burner will go and every time you press on it it will pop up. But the hardware stays the same. It's the same hardware, different faceplate. On the back you will see your everything is properly labeled. On the top row you will see a video in, so it's 16 video ins, 16 loop outs, so you can put a particular channel on a TV on a different location of your store or where, or, or where you have the DVR installed and then loop that particular uh, channel. You will have the four audio inputs built in and then you use the pigtail I showed you before to expand your audio. So it's all the way to 16 audio inputs. You will have um, audio out, mic in, mic out. At this end, you will have a video out and the spot out. Video out is a third monitor you can put using uh, BNC uh, in the, going to the AV port on your TV or your monitor. The spot out, you can put some group of cameras on a matrix so they will rotate and they will display in that particular TV anytime you want. Green blocks, these are the uh, alarm inputs and outputs. And all the way here in the back, you will see you have to take this off in order for you to see this is where the RS-485 is. Right here is everything is properly labeled, but for you to see it, you have to take it off. So the A and B is the RS-485 for you to put PTC cameras cameras that, that has uh, communication 
uh, via RS-485. A is positive and B is negative. Also, you will see in this unit, they come with a VGA port, HDMI, RS-232, eSATA for you to expand your storage, or you can use it as a backup as well. An extra USB port right here, and the RJ45 for you to put the Ethernet cable into your router. On and off switch, and the power connector or the, the place where you put the power cord. These units are, as I said before, this unit is it's an ultimate unit, it's an ultimate DVR to you, and it re it's, uh, records D1 at 30 frames per second in all of the channels. Um, it's a dual core unit. It supports up to eight drives, up to three terabytes. So you can put up to uh, 24 terabytes of storage. It's a massive amount of storage for you to record video. Also, you can access this unit using your I iPhone, your Android, uh, from a Mac computer using our PSS client software, or from a Windows computer using uh, Ethernet Explorer and so on. This uh, DVR is available on our website right now. It's a great unit, it's a very powerful unit, and I hope you like it. I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing. Thank you.